Good morning, guys. Woo, woo. Oh, oh. Struggled to get out on this run this morning, but I'm getting it done. Oh, I'll uh, tell you all the details on the way to uh, Park Place today. <laughs> Okay, hey, great run this morning. Great run. Really enjoyed it. Um, just one of those easy day runs, but it was not easy. It was not easy to get out the, do the door this morning. Uh, check out this tweet that I tweeted out this morning about 3 a.m. I'll, I'll give you time to read it. I'll just, I'll sit here. I'll sit here and drive while you're reading it, okay? If you need to get a little closer to read it, go ahead, get a little closer. Yeah, that's right, I did get up at 3 a.m. to start editing the vlog. By choice, by the way, by choice. Um, I did set my alarm. And the reason for it, guys, the reason for it is that I have really enjoyed shooting filming the vlog during the day and having the full day and not having to worry about the edit and then have to kind of like figure out like how to schedule in clients and do all that. So I get the edit done really early in the morning of the vlog and then I have the rest of my day. But the trouble is, is and I learned this when I ran a marathon uh, last year, that you really have to conserve energy at different places. Running has really taught me a lot just about um, about fueling, about eating, and about sleeping, and energy, energy and fuel and all that. And so this morning, because I got up really early at 3 a.m., um, I was like, oh man, that run. I don't think I have enough energy to go on that run today. Uh, I was like, nope, nope, nope. You're not talking yourself out of it, nope. Use that Mel Robbins five second rule. And that's what I did. I said five, four, three, two, one. And then I did it, put on the shoes and got out the door. And once I was out the door, I was feeling much better on the run, guys. So one thing I encourage you to do is stay committed to the things that you uh, intend to do, even if it's difficult. And that's what I plan on doing I am not going to sacrifice editing the vlog or running um, and both of those are probably going to conflict with each other at different times because I am going to continue to get up really early to edit the vlog and I am going to run in the morning so weird I'm just going to be have to be mindful of it guys I am going to be mindful and we're going to get them both done hope you guys are well all right uh, we are headed to park place and uh, to do work gating to just do some work gating um, got this corona got this coronavirus hair so we are definitely going to have some definitely hat days coming up and uh, I'm interested to know when I get there if there are any local shops that got any local hats I believe most of them are closed but we're going to check it out so you guys sit back Put on your seat belts and enjoy this ride. All right, here we are at uh, Park Place. And uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be open or not but we're going to drive through here and just take a look they used to be california pizza kitchen a long time ago burger fi gordon biersch any places open all right our raw sushi um, 
that there is usually just popping with people and today it's raining but uh in the winter time they turn that into a uh, skating rink which is really cool uh nothing seems to be open guys nothing seems to be open nothing seems to be open here at park place well I think what we'll do is let's uh there's a coffee shop uh close here roastery just basically right across the street let's go to the roastery and uh, see if they're open <laughs> Okay guys, I don't know if Roastery is open or not. They have the lights on in there, um, but there's no one here in the parking lot. Um, so I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna have to go check it out and see if they're open. I'm working from today uh, I'm going to step outside the car I'll just give you a little look I don't know if you can get the uh, oh that might give it away too much oh where am I work oh oh where am I work gating today where am I work gating you guys put in the comments oh 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 there's the uh, there's the office for today, but where? Put in the comments. Oh, oh, that's right. The roastery. The roastery is where I. That looks like a good thumbnail right there, right there. I like that. I think that I'll, I'll use that for the thumbnail for uh, episode seven. Parking lot. Here's the feel of our community today, that guys. Like this is, there is, it's. Uh, this is the feel of our community. Everyone is doing their social distancing, which is great. But uh, all these stores. There's Apple. There's Apple right there. Roastery, LL Bean. Uh, everything's closed. That's why I uh, am. That's why every day I'm just trying to do our part, my part, guys. Just trying to do my part to uh, bring attention to our local community, our local businesses. Just wanted to jump on and encourage you guys to get out and support uh, our community. Support our community. If you have a chance to get a coffee, go go local. I know we like our Starbucks, but go local, go local, find a place local, even if you have to drive out of your way, even if you have to drive out of your way, go local guys. <laughs> So something that I've been, my, my mind has just been stirring and stirring and I'm still trying to get my mind around it is kind of right now the situation that we're in with the coronavirus and just kind of the unknowns. Um, it really kind of makes me think of uh, this idea around the anxiety trick. I first uh, read about this many, many years ago. I don't know, it's been, I don't know, eight to 10 years ago. I got on uh, David Carbonell's uh, website and um, I'll share a link to the uh, page down below in the description but uh, the anxiety trick he talks about the anxiety trick and just how anxiety tricks your mind and your body and you think that you're unsafe but you're really not 
that you're in that your mind and your body trick you into thinking that you're in danger and you're really not and that's one of the big concepts with anxiety is you know anxiety is there to protect you from danger and I uh, often talk with clients a lot about how anxiety is kind of like our alarm system you know our alarm system to protect us so a lot of times that alarm will go off but it will be a false alarm true alarms are where we're when we are in danger when there's like if i was standing right here and all of a sudden a dog started chasing from behind and started growling at me i probably i would run right because i would be in danger or if somebody from the parking lot started running after me i would be in danger that would be a true alarm right the trouble is that our the anxiety also has false alarms when we're not really in imminent danger, but our mind and our body tricks us into thinking that we're in imminent danger. Like um, with social anxiety, going into like a social situation, maybe just uh, going into a grocery store and asking for, uh, you know, where groceries are or uh, where something might be in the grocery store, that alarm gets triggered. And for someone, that alarm might be just that somebody starts to, um, they, they think that they might laugh at them or they may stumble over their words or whatever that would be and uh, that that trigger uh, is tripped and so that uh, alarm system doesn't really know the difference between a true alarm and a false alarm and so that's just, that's a big struggle when I'm talking with people of social anxiety OCD generalized anxiety um, you know, just all the different uh, types of anxiety. The struggle is now we're in this situation with the coronavirus, right guys? I mean, look at this. I'm here and uh, this is Apple. Apple is a popping. It's popping. You know Apple. It's popping all the time. But the potential threat of spreading the virus, spreading the virus and not being able to contain it has shut our community down, right? We're being quarantined off of the potential threat. There is a threat out there. There is a threat, but it's really unknown where the threat is or who is the threat. And so this brings up a lot of what ifs. It brings up a lot of what ifs. It brings up that alarm system again, like this right here, like this trash can, right? I mean, it is kind of gross. It is kind of nasty, but is there coronavirus on this trash can, right? That trash can now can be a danger for us where before it was just a trash can. So we can all start to think about in our lives how we might have before coronavirus not thought two cents about like getting something that potentially could be life threatening, right? By just touching something. But now um, we might touch something. Um, and I've noticed myself doing that just like with my um, handles on the door of my car. Uh, that I don't really want to open those hand uh, I don't want to touch those handles at this point so I'm still trying to get my mind around this guys and I am uh, just I, I am still reviewing just a bunch of different uh, information and literature and just trying to get my mind around it because it's really hard for me because on one level I mean I totally get that uh, this is a public health emergency like no other, right? And I get that we need to take those precautions and I get that we need uh, to practice those safety measures. But on the other hand, like, I don't want to necessarily exaggerate the threat. Okay, it's time for what's been coming up in client sessions. Definitely what's been coming up in client sessions is coronavirus, coronavirus been hearing that a lot but really with families just like cabin fever just like lots of tension going on right now to be expected with having to you know be around each other all the time and um, but the uh, the Midwest anxiety the behavioral modification plan so a lot of families 
uh, that I work with. Uh, I help them with a behavioral modification plan that uh, I think uh, does, does a good job of managing some of that. So definitely coronavirus keeps coming up. Coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. I needed to announce something to you guys today. Well, hello, hello, hello. Here we are, it's, uh, what is this, April 14th. And I'm excited to announce a new show. It's gonna be, it's called Midwest Anxiety Daily.